Uh, we have some, what we're introducing is uh, low water to 80 plus, some higher efficiency uh, uh, power supplies. So in the GX450, we have a nice table. This one here is uh, basically your uh, setup for the I think this one you probably familiar with. Uh, this one's been already released in the market. Uh, what we did was, uh, we just had a demo system over here. We took the 1200 watt, and we used it, and then we powered up three high-end systems. Classify boards, 460 video cards, uh, i7 processors. So this is pretty much utilizing the full capacity of a power supply. You're looking at about close to a thousand hundred watts. So about a hundred watts less than you know, what you need. <laughs> okay. And um, so we have some of the cooler stuff over here. Most of our cooler. Uh, one thing new we're, good, we're doing for 2011 is getting back into the water cooler. Oh, you are. So we're okay. actually going back to all-in-one uh, all solution, enclosed system, and everything mm -hmm. like that. Hey, Sean, you want to give him like, a quick tour uh, of the product? This is actually our, our HQPM for the uh, cooling line. He does all oh. the product design and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Sean. Eric. <laughs> I shake your hand. Uh, liquid cooler. Yeah. Uh, this is our replacement for our Alpagate S1. Mm -hmm. I think the discontinued it years ago. And uh, this is a, a still a similar structure. Uh, it's a it's a pump on the water block and also radiated with the fan and linked by the tubes. So basically layout is the same and the maintenance free so the end user don't need to hassle with all the installation. Mm -hmm. Just put it on, plug in and they can use. So there are some different parts. Like uh, we decided to use a more powerful pump for, for this system and also a new kind of water block. So actually this is the most important of this whole system. This is called sometimes called a uh, division bundle. So uh, it's uh, made by uh, many many very thin copper layers, copper things with uh, different mesh patterns. And we stack them to get together and uh, using very high pressure and high temperature to bond them together. So they can transfer heat vertically, but they got a little a lot of uh, you can see there's uh, gaps between the between the things so the water can flow through. So water will go into here and uh, uh, flow out here and uh, the stress will hold the heat sink. And it got the benefit like a less re uh, flow resistance and uh, more contact service between the water and the, uh, and the copper. So it got the better performance compared to normal micro channels used on our previous product or the competitor products. So normally this is only because it's expensive. So normally thing on the some high end and use I mean the DIY parts that sell separately as a, a replacement for the water block. But the, because uh, we have a uh, uh, manufacturer, I mean the factory can manufacture this in house, so it decreases the cost. So we decided to use in the in the uh, I mean the, in the uh, maintenance free system.